I think a lot of us would like to learn another language. So in this video, I'm going to see how much French I can learn in just six weeks. Then to see how much I've learned, I'm going to Paris. I've watched loads of YouTube videos on this and I want to make sure I'm being realistic. There seems to be loads of YouTubers who are able to learn a language in a week and I don't think that's realistic for me. After all, it's an entire new language. So I'm giving myself six weeks and even that feels like a daunting prospect. Here's where I'm starting from. I am not multilingual, I speak no other language other than English. However, je sais un peu français. I hope I said that right. I think, like a lot of us in the UK, I did a little bit of school French that left a lot to be desired. I didn't come out feeling like I could speak French at all. And also I did a bout of Duolingo on the tube in London and I didn't own any headphones at the time, so I just read it. I feel like I can read quite a lot of French, but I don't know how it's pronounced. I also had a few French lessons around that time. However, I have to admit, I didn't really knuckle down and I kind of just expected the language to fall into my brain, which unsurprisingly it did not. But I do know one swear word that I learned on the school playground, mer. So it would be disingenuous to say that I'm starting from absolutely nothing, but I really can't speak any French at all. But I did learn one thing, and that's how I learn. I've watched loads of YouTube videos that say learn the 1000 most common French words first. I'm not going to do that, partly because I hope I know some of that basic vocab, but mostly I know I'll just get frustrated and switch off. I've done a bit of research and it seems like the Pimsleur method is a lot more intuitive. And by the way, this is not a sponsored video, it just seems like a really cool method. Est-ce que vous comprenez? This is an audio learning app, so it's based around conversational French, which is really what I need. It does claim that you can learn to do French from just doing half an hour a day for 30 days, but considering there are 150 lessons on the app, that seems like it can't be true, otherwise you wouldn't need to do those extra lessons. So I am going to do what they advise against, and I am going to do more than one lesson a day. Now I can't put my usual life and responsibilities on hold, so I'm just going to try and fit it in where I can. So, stage one. I'm going to be starting with four lessons a day, which is two hours worth of lessons, six days a week. I'm going to make sure that I leave one day a week to let my brain recharge and chill. As I go through the weeks, I'm going to be trying some other French challenges, but first, let's get the basics down and get those first 24 lessons in. <laughs> I am really enjoying audio learning. I love that I can take it on the go with me so it doesn't really cut into my day that much. I just pop it on while I'm going to the shops or walking into town. I look a little bit crazy saying basic French phrases while walking around, but it's fine. And I also love practicing when I'm doing chores, like hanging out the washing. It makes it way more fun. However, I have noticed a couple of things. For example, my French learning in school was definitely way too formal and split up all the words individually. So for example, je ne sais pas is what I learned in school, but actually it said more like je ne sais pas, something more squished together. And I've also noticed that I am so tired and I didn't anticipate that. I thought aerial silks would be the most tiring thing that I could have done, but actually this is a real new level of mental fatigue. However, I am having loads of fun learning it. I am really excited about how I'm coming on and I've got through a lot of the basics. So I think it's time to step it up a bit. It has been a really busy week and I've really struggled to keep up with lessons on teaching days especially. Um, work is, is really busy right now and the more I'm immersing myself in the language the more I realise how complex it is and that's quite daunting. There's a lot of information to take in but I am learning a little bit about 
learning in general and unsurprisingly I'm finding that if I'm tired I don't learn as well I forget all the information that I've taken on the day before so next week I'm gonna make sure that I do my lessons in the morning rather than late at night so my brain is really fresh and I will make sure I get my eight hours sleep which I'm not particularly good at doing I've also found that the more that I'm stressing out about it or the more that I want things to be perfect the more that I mess up. But sometimes when I'm doing something else, I'm doing the dishes or something, that complex phrase just comes to me and it's really surprising. So it must be sinking in somewhere. However, it's been pretty clear that I could do with a bit of help. So I've enlisted my friend Pauline, who's also a French teacher. And um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of how that lesson went. In the lesson, she asked me to read some questions that she'd set in French and then respond in my own way. Présente, euh, une des membres de ton groupe et parle de elle, pour toi. Oui. Euh, <laughs> tu es Pauline. Euh, oui. Elle s'appelle Pauline. Um, mm. um, uh, mm. mm. ah, ah, ah. D'accord. Uh. Mm. Oui. Uh, tu as un nouveau travail? Uh, oui. Thank you, Beth. Lovely to see you. Au revoir. <laughs> This week is all about immersing myself in French language and culture, so I did what I knew best and I went to music and YouTube. I found some great Spotify playlists, which I've been dancing all around my house to. I've been listening to everything from the perhaps cliche Edith Piaf to Strome to Pom. I love Pom. And I also found some really good YouTubers and my personal favourite is Piece of French. I really enjoy the channel, it's for intermediate speakers and it has both subtitles in French and English which is really handy but it's also really really entertaining and has some quite unusual vocabulary that I wouldn't know otherwise. Go check out all these people if you're learning French because they're really good. <laughs> I have something very exciting to tell you. You know how I said I love Piece of French YouTube channel? Well, Elsa from Piece of French has agreed to do an interview with me. Here it is. I really love your YouTube channel. I think it's a fantastic resource for French learners. What is your favorite method of learning French for you? Like, I think if you're a beginner, like a real beginner, I would advise like starting with like apps like Duolingo and like maybe taking a course for beginners because you need to have like a structured way of learning. I do think it's important to learn the grammar at first. And once you reach that intermediate level, I think you have to change the way you learn and you actually have to try to immerse yourself in like the language as much as possible. I think YouTube is a really good resource for that because I think like TV shows or, or movies are too hard. So I think that's where like my channel would come into place. It's like something which is not too easy nor too hard so you can learn without feeling overwhelmed. If you are a complete beginner and you don't know another language, how long should you expect it to take to become an intermediate or even fluent? If you know a language which is similar to French, of course someone who's like Spanish or Italian, I think it will be easier to learn French. It really depends on like the time and effort you put into it and like if you like it. My example is uh, Doron, my boyfriend. I, I would say it took him like at least a year to get to that intermediate level. You know, doing French once in a, once in a while, and, and at first he didn't like it, like he, it was very painful for him. <laughs> but now, <laughs> now that he's gone through that phase, he actually enjoys it. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's like anything, when you don't feel very good at something, and mm -hmm. also when it feels like you can't express yourself at all. Yeah, go through that phase at the beginning where it's like everything's so hard and so new, and. And like you can't make a sentence and you know slowly <laughs> but surely you're gonna improve and i think it's just saying like it's okay to take i don't know loads of if it takes you like two years or three years it doesn't really matter just take your time and learn it in at your own pace i guess yeah yeah, yeah. just take your time enjoy find things that you like doing in french or like whatever language you're, you're learning like try to 
to make French a part of your daily life, like consume a lot of content on topics that interest you. Something that I really like doing as well is like reading and listening at the same time. I think that's a really magical combination. Mm -hmm. And the second part I would say is actually speak. So what I recommend is doing like one conversation a week. Doing this with a teacher and like in a safe environment is really helpful because you build confidence and then when you're out there in the real world, then you feel more confident to, to actually speak. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> It's been really nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
beaucoup de nourriture mmh. à Paris, je crois. Oui, oui. Qu'est-ce que tu as préféré J'aime nourriture en général, mais j'aime le patate douce. Oui. Est-ce que tu as des musiques en français On a été une club du jazz. On chantait beaucoup. Oui. C'est bon. D'accord. Est-ce que tu regardes des films ou des séries en français Je regarde le série de Emily à Paris. Dans le série, il y a un stéréotype ou un cliché à Paris. Ce n'est pas vrai. Et Paris est très différent de le série. Oui. I feel like it's fairly impossible, especially if you're just a single language person, to learn really another language in a week or two weeks. Yeah. Uh, Unless you have a background. I don't think you can learn a language in, in one week or even one month. It's no. <laughs> and impossible. It's so unrealistic when you see all these things online because you feel like you should be able to. Do you think there's like a benefit in general to learning languages? I think so. It makes you more aware of the world around you and different cultures. Maybe it's, it makes you more open. It makes you want to travel. Yes. yes. If you go on holiday somewhere as a British person, you are like the outside person. If you have a friend in that area, maybe they can show you around and you become part of that group. But if you can speak the language, then you have an automatic kind of shortcut to learning more about that culture that you wouldn't have without another person to help you. Native people really like when you speak mm. the language, that yeah. you're making an effort yeah. to be part of your, the environment you're yeah. in. And a person gave me a really yummy brownie because I tried my French. So if anything, you should learn a language because you'll get actual brownie points. <laughs> yes. Pouvez-vous apprendre le français en une semaine ou six? Probablement pas. Pour moi, c'est impossible. En ce moment, je vous parle comme si je parlais le français. Je ne peux pas. J'ai pris le temps de l'écrire, de la traduire parfois avec Google Translate et de la pratiquer avant. L'écrire vous donne plus de temps de réfléchir. Je ne pouvais pas le dire instantanément dans une conversation. Pour la plupart, le passage d'une langue demande beaucoup d'efforts et beaucoup de temps. Mais je suis devenue meilleure en français. I think it's so easy to fake language learning online, or at least make yourself look better than you actually are. I think I just did that. So don't feel bad if learning a language takes you a very, very long time. I think that's normal. I also learned a big lesson about learning and about giving yourself the optimal circumstances to learn in. For me, the best place to learn in was walking in nature. It allowed my mind to be clear with only the distraction of the odd squirrel. But the world can get in the way sometimes and with my rib, I was in a lot of pain, but it wasn't just that. Sometimes I just had a busy day and my mind was filled with other work tasks. And sometimes I tried to multitask, which didn't really work. However, in all of these environments, I did learn something. It just was a little bit slower than it would have been otherwise. And I think that's okay, because vous pouvez le faire avec perseverance. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe. Once again, big thanks to my patrons. These videos would not happen without the patrons. So please do check that out at patreon.com slash bethroars. Also, I put links to Pauline who does French lessons and to Piece of French and her channel if you want to check them out and you want to learn French yourself. See you in the next one. Bye. Da 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 da